Okay, so that should be back where we left off. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think this is going to be difficult to record. If it seems a little bit like we're all over the place, I think it's um, trying to do a cognitive process like vlog while there's like, a, I don't really know what to call it, but a lot going on, I guess, in the emotional body. And we're so used to dissociating from it, and it's so new to uh, deal with it on this level. But oh, I see what you weren't throwing, that's the floor. Like that little thieves. That we are, yeah. It'll take us far fucking away. I both feel like it's really hard to move right now, and I feel really heavy. You close. And yet, I'm noticing we're moving a lot. This is the DID in action, isn't it? Yeah, I, I just have a lot of energy. I want to move the fuck around. I want to do exercise, preferably even more than this. Also, the body is not really 100% capable of that sort of an expenditure right now. We really do need to recover more. And uh, you feel sort of floaty in a different way. Everything sounds very loud and it's very hard to move and my body feels heavy. So I guess you're like, but we can't go into we we can't go into different nervous system states. We only, we do only have the one nervous system. You can oscillate that rapidly. I imagine so. Yeah. But does that mean the body can be in both at once? I wouldn't have thought so. Because you feel agitated and need to move, and I feel heavy as fuck. The agitation seems to be winning out, but I feel like that's kind of better. <laughs> no, it is a bit weird. We're going to have to do a bit of research there, then. We'll have to know if you can... Like, what the fuck happens when you have a dream and then shut down at once. <sighs> My head kind of hurts. It's been like all day of trying to ground from the video. Just anytime we watch just one. I mean, I'm not complaining. At the same time, I'm like, fuck. I used to be able to like blitz through loads of videos and get the information. And be like, ah, oh, this is the thing that happened. Cool, okay, I know that now. And now it's like every single experience and video comes with this whole other realm of things to digest and absorb and discharge in me before I can like even recall the data I'm not complaining I'm just like holy fuck processing with emotions is really very different and a lot a lot slower. Like, holy hell, there's so much more. And it's heavier, deeper work, which would be why it's slower. <sighs> I prefer it. It feels more wholesome, feels more like, I don't know, connected, more existent. Like, it brings everything into reality, including me. It's more of an, a whole experience than just like thoughts or understandings and cognitive levels. Jesse, leave that. Good boy. Yeah. I think I prefer it too. It's a hell of a lot more intense. Probably 
of why we had to buy oh, Mike. We've just pinch through all the information. Like when you're dissociating from the body, maybe I needed a thousand percent more shit, or I thought I did. What I thought was a normal level of emotion was just being able to feel any emotion at all, which would only happen when I was really fucking triggered or really traumatised. So maybe that's why it was so easy to binge watch through so many videos before, because we weren't aware of the hits we were taking, the damage. That sounds likely. <sighs> My head kind of hurts. I'm liking the sunlight though. I'm liking the moving around. This was not a terrible plan. You expected it to be. I expected it to be like, I don't know, it's very peacefully out here and I thought that would make the insecurities and the anxiety worse. It doesn't. No, it's just another layer of stuff to deal with, but I can, I can deal with it. Your nonchalance is pretty comforting as well. Okay, I'm very tired. <laughs>